Mr. Z here from SendThePackage.com. I'm here currently spending some time with my man Frank Lucas. What do you feel about SendThePackage.com? Well, I think it's definitely a positive movement. You know what I mean? From what I, from what I've, um, from the short, from the short breath of knowledge that I have, of what the company is about, and, and the movement that it represents, I think it's definitely a positive thing. You know what I mean? It's something that's well needed. I think um, something that should have been done, but obviously, you know, you guys had to find what your spot. The game had to find you. So now you guys are really doing something. And I think uh, more people need to jump on this, you know, large artists, mid-level mid artists. I think everybody should support that movement. You know, coming from someone like yourself, you know, growing up, certain situations, you know, how do you feel this will embrace what we're trying to tell these kids? Well, basically, in a nutshell, um, something something like a message that Center Package does is it lets you know that at the end of the day, everybody needs somebody to care. Correct. You feel me? Because when you're doing, when you're incarcerated and you're doing a stretch, I mean, listen, being in different situations, being locked up for a day, right. it's, not, it's not a pot of gold. You feel me? Correct. Because at the end of the day, people are telling you what to do, when, and how to do it. Correct. That's the most difficult part of going through an incarceration. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's not necessarily, you, you can always adapt to any environment, you know, um, for the most part. Um, some people really don't, they just, you know, but for the most part you adapt to, to, to any environment. As a human being, the, the, the source of our strength is adaptation. That's, that's the source of continued survival, or continuous survival, I should say. So, with that being said, I mean, yeah, but this makes it a lot easy to continue to survive. You know what I mean? Correct. You have people, you know, doing things to <clears throat> open up the books and help, you know, uh, it, it alleviates the stress on a, on a commissary factor so much okay. and happen to depend on, you know, many family members that really want to but can't, you know what I mean? Right. Because of their situations. Everything. Have you ever had to send a package? Yeah, I've sent plenty of packages. Okay, so this is, some too. This is a, <laughs> this is a, this is a <laughs> having you and we're glad to have you on the movement, my brother. Yeah, and, and, and let's just last things, last mm -hmm. things last in terms of um, in terms of what you guys are doing and, and who I am, just clear with people. You know, I am Frank Lewis. I am the son of the American gangster and, you know, um, you know, I just want to let everybody know that at the end of the day, you know, um, it's not the perspective of necessarily Frank Lucas's son per se, but it's the perspective of a guy who's lived the life that every other hood dude in the streets has lived. I was born with a silver spoon in my mouth, snatched away, got it back, snatched away again, got it back, and here I am again. I've been through more ups and downs than Rocky, and I'm a real person. Just to let everybody know, the TV version of Rocky, <laughs> I'm a real person. I respect everybody, and um, I think you guys should understand that this is definitely a positive thing. Get involved with this, get involved with this, and keep it moving.